So for our first Negroni, we're gonna be doing a classic Negroni build, but we're actually going to be rejiggering the specs. This Negroni variation, or it's like a variation of the classic Negroni, was created by a bartender named St. John Frizzell who opened um, a bar called Fort Defiance in Red Hook, Brooklyn in 2009. And what I really love about his interpretation of the Negroni is that it kind of takes the Campari and kind of gives it a backseat to the gin and sweet vermouth. You have a better uh, balance in the bitters. So first thing we're gonna do is take our Campari. And we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce, just right into our glass. And then we're gonna do one ounce of sweet vermouth. We're using Carpano Antica, as should you for this particular Negroni. And then, one and a half ounces of beef eater gin. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be asking me like, can I do this with another type of gin? Can I do this with another type of vermouth? And while I'm going to always say yes, I will say this, that both gin and vermouth are proprietary. So no gin is exactly alike and no sweet vermouth is exactly alike. They have different macerations. Every company has their own um, uh, macerations of herbs and spices, uh, uh, spice elements. And so the different Gins are gonna have different flavor profiles that take the front and same thing with vermouth. So if you wanna try this build, you should do it with these particular ingredients. If you can't find them though, I guarantee you, you'll be able to find a whole bunch of substitutions that will also be good. And you still are going to be, and that, that Campari is still gonna be taking the back seat in this recipe. So we're just gonna take our big rag of ice and we're going to stir our cocktail down and be careful not to spill the cocktail everywhere. There we have it. Get a little orange peel. Spritz it on. And there you have it, the Negroni. Our next variation is called a Negroni Spagliato. And what Spagliato means is messed up or mistake in Italian. This was, this particular one was created in the 1980s by a bartender named Mirko Stocchetti at his bar, Bar Basso in Milan. And uh, it's real simple, very pleasing brunch style, style Negroni. First thing we're gonna do is just one ounce of sweet vermouth. One ounce of Campari. We're gonna add in our ice. We're gonna give it a light top off with, you can do Prosecco, I'm doing champagne today. And then we're just gonna give it a light stir to combine. You wanna stir it lightly and not too long because uh, A, the ice is gonna chill it, but also you don't want to defizz the CO2 in the, um, in the uh, champagne. And then we're just gonna take a little twist and twist it. And there you have it, the Negroni Spagliato. Next up is the White Negroni. The White Negroni was created by a bartender named Wayne Collins in 2001 in Bordeaux, France. So Collins was at the Vin Expo in Bordeaux and he needed to make Negronis, but he couldn't find Campari. But he found this lovely Sous, which is the gentian liqueur. So when he added the Sous, he had to reconstruct the whole thing and decided to put Lillet in it. Uh, so this cocktail is just real simple, Negroni, easy to do. One ounce of Lillet. And that's Lele Blanc, guys, obviously. And then one ounce of Suze. And then one ounce of gin. I'm just gonna add our ice. Ah, oh, and spill everywhere. Don't do that. Don't throw ice into your glass and spill it everywhere. Give it a nice stir. Yeah, nice and chilled. And then we're just gonna add a grapefruit peel. There it is, the white Negroni. So for our next Negroni variation, we are gonna be departing from the classic Negroni build and we're gonna be doing more of a mashup between an old fashioned and a Negroni uh, with a little dab of Jamaican, so like by way of Jamaica, via Jamaica maybe. Uh, this drink is called The Professional. It was created by Benjamin Schwartz at the New York City bar Little Branch in 2010. Uh, and let's just get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is overproof Jamaican rum. I like using the pot still Dr. Bird rum. It has just got that amazing, very flavorful Jamaican rum taste to it. So uh, it's gonna really, really stand up to that Campari. And then we're gonna do one ounce of Campari. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of bourbon. 
All right, but I like using, because we're using the overproof Jamaican rum, I like using overproof bourbon, so we're doing the Evan Williams bond, Bottled and Bond. One and a half ounces. Then we're going to add our nicely tempered ice and give it a little stir. And you don't have to worry about stirring it down to temperature too, too much, uh, just because ice is sitting in this glass, so it is going to get to temperature uh, on its own. So you can just chill it, lightly chill, grab your orange, get a nice little peel, give it a little spritz, dab it in the glass, and there you have it, my friends, the professional. Our next Negroni variation is called a cold brew Negroni, and usually this is done with just cold brew, but I'm actually gonna be using Mr. Black coffee liqueur because basically it's like cold brew, all right, and vodka made with Australian wheat, so you're like bolstering up that alcohol a little bit, and it is phenomenally good. It's one of my favorite products that I've been using lately. So first thing we're gonna do is just one ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur, an ounce of gin, an ounce of Campari, and then half an ounce of Carpano Antica Sweet Vermouth. You're gonna wanna use Carpano for this because Carpano is very rich and flavorful and uh, some other, um, some other uh, uh, sweet vermouths are gonna get kind of get lost, the flavors are gonna get kind of lost in this because you have that coffee liqueur, it's gonna be so powerful. And then we're just gonna add our ice. Give it a nice stir. And we're gonna pull off a nice little peel, or actually kind of rather a large peel because we have got this nice large glass. Give it a spritz. There you have it, the cold brew Negroni. So there you have it, my all-time favorite Negroni variations. You should try every single flavor because they are amazing. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. We got some awesome uh, exclusive Patreon content coming out. So check that out and we will see you on another time.